Now I really needed to take some time off to kind of rebuild my empire. We had just taken pretty much three cities and I had no amenities and my housing is actually still struggling here, but I'm off to a point where I can start to expand again and begin to colonize. And I'd like to take a moment out to highlight this Middle Eastern music here. I loved the Middle, East, Middle Eastern themes in Civ V and uh, you know, I haven't really been able to listen to much of it playing as Germany and America. This is great. I cannot wait to play as uh, and, and just kind of hear these themes throughout my own campaigns um, as a Civ that would probably hear a lot more of this music than, than Germany and America would. But anyways, I want to go over a few things that have happened. Uh, I haven't settled any new cities. I am building the Colossus out here because I think it's a freaking wonderful wonder in terms of the way it looks. Again, <laughs> like at this point, seriously, I'm just building wonders because I like the way they look as well as actually the Colossus works pretty well because uh, I need to make sure that these three coastal cities are just a beast in terms of production and, and making as many naval units as possible. So, um, my empire has really changed a lot in terms of like what I've been doing diplomatically. First of all, most people dislike us except for England. Uh, Greece, I knew that we were going to eventually start butting heads because there was only one city-state left on this continent. And of course, obviously Greece is going to go after them. So, you know, I mean, I have a super strong hold on these guys. I actually shouldn't have that strong of a hold. But the problem was I haven't discovered, I didn't discover any new city-states until recently. So I just had to keep giving them my envoys. So I pretty much don't have to do anything else with this city-state. This city-state is mine, I think, for the rest of the game, unless I get very, get very unlucky or unless Greece is like, hey, you know what, screw Germany, I'm going to drown him in a river. I don't know, maybe that's what he's going to do with Frederick. As long as I drown with my apple pies, though, it's all good. So, uh, I'm only cool with Vicky. I mean, that's that's kind of good. But the problem with that is Vicky's getting really close to a uh, religious victory. And that freaks me out a little bit. Now, luckily, Scythia has a pretty strong control over the second continent. And that's the other thing that I'd like to show off. I just pretty much explored around the, the coastal side of everything. I do have a, I did send a scout in here to find more city-states. I don't even know where that scout is, but uh, for the most part, they've pretty much just been automated, and uh, we found Spain, Japan, and Rome, as well as Scythia. So, uh, Scythia has her own religion, and actually, they all got up their own religion. In our continent, there was no religion, and the other continent, every single Civ got one. Uh, Scythia seems to be the most dominant, but yeah, um, I'm still very worried about what England might possibly do here. Uh, another thing that I should look at is, well, first of all, Rome denounced me. Rome does not, does not like me, I guess, too much. And that's kind of weird because his agenda is, he tries to include as much territory as possible in his empire, uh, does not like civilizations who take little territory or who, who control little territory. I'm sorry. And that's definitely not me. I'm probably more expansive than he himself. Um, but clearly relationships in the other continent have not been going well. He's denounced everybody in his own continent, Japan, Spain, and Scythia. It's, it's probably a huge mess. And actually, somebody has lost their capital. We know that for sure. Um, Japan is pretty unfriendly. And that's the weird thing is when I came to discover everybody, they were like, hey, I don't like you either. They were just like, hey, F you, Frederick. Go, go drown in a river or something. I don't know. They didn't like me. So I was kind of surprised by that because I thought that they, I thought that they would. Like civilizations that have a strong military and faith and culture output, I don't know if I have the faith output for him, but he probably will like me for my military. Just like civilizations that are strong in military but weak faith. Oh, oh, that might be why he denounced me. That's exactly probably why. Uh, Rome, we already checked on Rome. I'm sorry, Scythia. He, she does not like to be backstabbed. Like civilizations who. Uh, are their declared friends, obviously. That kind of seems pretty straightforward. Hate civilizations who backstab and declare surprise wars on them. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. Duly, duly noted. Um, have we checked Japan? And then finally Spain, which I've got an okay... You know, me and Spain have been doing okay. He gave me churros. So that was a big moment for me. He finally, he finally, I got some churros from Spain. I've been talking about it for a long time. So that's good. Like civilizations who follow the same religion, that's part of the problem with Spain. He's going to just dislike everybody because no one's going to be following your crappy, you know, religion. So that's kind of a, I think, kind of a problem with this AI. The Spanish AI, if they don't get their religion off the ground, they're just going to dislike everybody. And then they're screwed. Either way. Um, I fixed my amenity situation because I've been getting a lot of uh, duplicates and then trading with the new continent. As soon as I found the new continent, I started trading. Um, so I've got extra amenities in truffles, in citrus, 
I'm actually going to get access to whales very soon, which is actually going to be a new amenity. Um, but things have been going pretty well. The, la the last thing I want to mention is I have been so focused on trade. I've become kind of a trade empire in a sense because I've built a lot of commercial hubs as well as I changed my government type because I knew that we weren't going to go to war anytime soon. So I kind of overhauled my government and now we are a merchant republic which gives us two trade routes on top of that. Actually, if we finish the Colossus, that's going to be another trade route. So we might have 10 total by, I mean, we just entered the Imperial era. So that would be really nice. Discount on all gold purchases, which is perfect because I'm making a lot of money and I'll be probably buying a lot of things very soon. So I'm really happy with the, uh, the government that we have set up. I've got boosts to my amenities. I've got faster growth rate in my cities that are not a part of the original capitals continent. I mean, look at this. Look how amazing that policy is for me because every city I have is not on the original capital, the, the original continent of my capital, as my capital. What is this? Is this, a, this is just an island, I'm guessing? It. I guess it's not a part of a, oh, continent Nuna. Well, that's the plan to settle there next. But um, what the, are these colors just very similar? You're not Capital Nuna, or you're not Con Continent Nuna, are you? Yeah, you are. How did that one island become a part of the the western or the eastern side of this landmass? That's really strange. Either way, that's an amazing policy. So I'm gonna try to keep that enacted because that's giving me more more growth rate in every single one of my cities, practically. Because I'm I'm not really gonna settle. I probably should settle a city down here, huh? If I see a nice strategic resource, then I probably will. But honestly, I want to settle like three new cities. I want to fill in these gaps and then go for this island and continue to focus on, uh, you know, coastal things and things like that. But anyways, yes, yeah, so trade is doing amazing for us, which is why our economy is much better than before. I need to purchase something very soon here, but I want to make sure I'm purchasing the right thing. Okay, so let's go to the next turn. I know I need more housing, but that's something that, uh, you know, we're just going to have to wait on. You share his religion. Okay, so hopefully you start freaking liking me. Uh, I am enjoying the fact that Spain is bringing over their religious units so that they stop England. I'm concerned about that. That That's something that I've been racking my brain around is, how would I stop England? Because I think you can still win a religious victory even if I take her capital, which is a big problem. That's the only thing I can think of, is take her capital. Um, I can't eliminate England. That would be obviously the, the best choice. That was the first thought that came to my mind. But uh, England is starting to colonize all different parts of this world, so they will stay alive. I don't think it would be possible for me to completely eliminate them. And I'm in a really bad diplomatic slot spot here because England's my only friend. And I'm actually being kind of risky by, by throwing a spy inside of London, but that's this is the only set friend I have. Me and Greece ended up butting heads, so this might not be a good idea at all. I kind of wanted to plunder their holy site to stop their faith, but um, we'll see if I can do that. Anyways, so this is this is starting to get very dicey. Um, America has pretty much been a, a no, you know, they have not had much of an impact besides the fact that they've been colonizing Buffalo, New York, and I guess they're kind of coming back, but I've disregarded their their impact on the game for the most part. He's denounced me, and of course he is. He's never going to like me because I, I took I took Washington and, and actually St. Louis, and St. Louis has become a pretty good city for me. I've been focusing more on districts and things like that, so um, so that's good. I think a university might be a pretty good idea, especially because it includes more housing, which uh, this city definitely needs. Um, and you built an aqueduct. What you complaining for? I think we just need to build more um, farms for the most part. But my builders have been... We, we're, I think we've been pretty lucky in this campaign. We've had access to a lot of resources. So that's been extremely helpful. A lot, of, a lot of different resources, so I've been actually focusing most of my builder actions on improving all the resources that we're continuing to get. So I have two caravels, that's about it for now. Um, I don't think launching a naval invasion is going to be within the next few videos. I, I, I want to colonize and then figure out who I want to invade next. I think Rome seems like the straightforward one. They did denounce me, so that's good. And if they convert over one of my cities, do I have any Cassus Belli's against them? Um, declare a surprise war. Well, I can't do that. Oh, yes, because I do have embassies with a few people. Because I'm trying to figure out as much as I can in terms of the new gossip system and things like that. Your treasury is filling up uh, quite nicely. Definitely Japan starting to like me. I've got a lot of lot of deals with Japan and Spain. That's, they're keeping my amenities high. That's fine. Get, get out of here, Teddy. Are you even relevant? No. 
No. You only have, like, five Facebook friends. You know how many Facebook friends I have, Teddy? I've got six. So, clearly, I'm more- I'm the popular girl in school now. So leave me alone. Uh, I'm looking for, yeah, things to make my housing better because I- I don't have access to aqueducts in some of my cities, which is a problem. So, and that- that, that kind of sucks because this is where the city-state ended up being anyways. Like, the city-state ended up in a pretty bad spawning part. Some of the other cities that I, I, actually, you know, I've only really settled three. I didn't think about that. And I've taken the rest. Some, the AI has not been too good at uh, settling um, next to, you know, fresh water, I guess. Anyways, so do I want to continue to increase my economy? Kind of. Kind of. Great Lighthouse wouldn't be a bad idea to give extra movement. Uh, that would take about ten turns, and I do need to keep that in mind that I want to have... A very strong navy. Let's go ahead and try another great... Let's try a wonder, I guess. And we can build it right there, so let's try it. Because I have not been doing as many wonders in my playthroughs as I would have liked. Um, culture and science-wise, we're still, like, in the, you know, the top three at the very least. If not number one. And, uh, the funny thing is the only district that I've been lacking is actually the encampment districts. But I haven't really needed it, to be honest. And maybe you just don't. I'm thinking about building a builder. Let's do a builder. In three turns, why not? Building more farms. Increase the housing. And I know for sure there is a third landmass. Or maybe they're small islands. But I've been seeing them pop up. Oh my gosh, they're dominated by barbarians though. Which is kind of a problem. Listening post. That's another good thing about trading with almost the entire world. Is I have been getting creating trading posts everywhere. And I've been getting a lot of uh, intrigue. Is that, the, is that what it's called? A lot of knowledge. Not espionage, but kind of understanding what's going on throughout the world. Gossip. There you go. Gossip system. Too bad I don't read it as much as I probably should, though. So, yeah, people are definitely praising me. I, I You know, I'm getting these these messages, but they still haven't, uh, you know, done it. Hey, what's this? Tobacco. And you really want my open borders? I cannot give that to you because I know you're colonized something that I don't want you to colonize. So, how about no? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vicky, I see you. You're not cool with me. I know you're not. You do. This is just all an act. How about that? Yeah, that's what I figured. I probably could have got the gold per turn instead of the instant golds, but but whatever. Okay, who do we get? Uh, hey, you should probably go away. This is too much, too much information. Great engineer, perfect. Uh, I have been building as many hauntses as possible, so uh, my production has been noticeably higher in in most of my cities, even in some of these smaller cities. My production has been really good, so that has been very, very helpful. Um, Alright, so uh, I I still didn't read, let's see, it triggers the Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern era. Whoa! And the workshop provides plus one culture. Sounds good to me! Sounds good to me, there we go. So extra chemistry, I like it. Or extra boost for chemistry. So this is, is this one large landmass that no one settled? This might be just a, uh, an island. This would be a good place. Who needs housing? St. Louis. Um, this might be a good place to land just to kind of have a spot to attack England. Because right now there's no real easy way. No real easy way. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go with a farm. I need to start building farms, baby. Farms everywhere. Alright, let's integrate some whales. And I need to build... A settler. And actually, I need to just pur purchase a settler. So, who do I not mind? Let's see here. Your growth kind of sucks, and you have terrible housing. It's not terrible, but it's pretty bad. So, I'll purchase the settler from here, because that makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, no, I don't want to build it. Dang, it's only 265 gold. That is a very nice amount. I think I might wait. Maybe I'll just purchase another settler in there. It would be easier if I purchased it see I don't want to mess with these guys' pr production I really want to build those wonders even though they're not super necessary they're not super necessary at all there you go Spain keep get get Vicky pushed out I, I don't want Protestantism Protestantism to be ruling over this landmass I don't like that okay so what do we got production towards industrial era and uh, later wonders hey oh well I I'm actually building not I don't think the Colossus is an industrial era wonder. Pretty sure it's not. Production towards builders 
and newly trained builders gain two extra actions. I'm gonna, I plan to purchase all of my settlers. I really like this setup that I have. Like, I really like it. I kind of don't want to change it around. Like, it's got to be very, very good. Golden City's not on your original. Oh, that's a good one to too. Colonial taxes. Uh, is there anything that I can replace that with though? That'd be quite a bit more gold. I can't mess with housing. I like the four gold per turn. I mean, I guess I could slow down my growth. 25% more gold. I don't need the gold though. I'm going to say no. I'd like to continue to grow to grow a little bit more. So I think I'm going to lock off this landmass, make sure no one can squeeze in here. And uh, it's also good to be settling. Ooh, I could go after here. And I do want to eventually settle in the... I, I don't even know what we call this. We should probably... Who is dominating this game over here? Because uh, I know that there have been... We did get a notification that like two times, two different times, that people have been def uh, defeated. Domination victory so far is being won by Philip II. That makes sense. But it doesn't show us like who has... Oh, okay. I thought I thought I saw that twice that somebody's been defeated must have been crack I guess it was crack I don't know I'm gonna assume that that was that's the answer to all, all of my questions okay nationalism declare a colonial war used to declare a war on a power that is two technologies eras behind you that might be very useful uh, but I need to rush natural history first actually no I need to rush urban urbanization I'm doing fine amenity wise because I wanted to get the zoo but I'm actually okay so let's go nationalism I want to look at that anyways, and then we definitely need neighborhoods. We gotta start slapping these suckers down because I have not got a good hold on fixing that problem just yet. This is a very nice island that's popped up. I really like this map script. We've got two, and then like, having like a whole separate continent that no one's on is really fun. Very cool. Nope, not settling in the tundra. So I guess we'll go come out over here. You know what? Just to be safe, take the uh, take the pikeman with you. I'm getting amenity bonuses for um, for having units garrisoned inside of the city. By the way, also um, quick combat and and movement is on. If you obviously you probably figured that out a long time ago, Drew. Duh, duh, Drew. But I love it now. I love it in Civ Six because it's not that instant like just boom, boom, boom. It felt you know it felt too choppy. This feels so much better. Um, it's getting into the later game, and it really helps kind of move the uh, the AI's processing of, tur of turns a little bit faster. So that's part of the reason why I like to do it around this time. Okay, so uh, you're fine. You did grow again. Um, well, we're going to have to stop it there anyways. But I think I need to... I don't think you're working any of these tiles, are you? You're not. You don't really need a farm. If anyone needs a farm, it's actually St. Louis, to be honest. Which was would, nice that we built that settler inside of St. Louis. I think that was a good idea. Yeah. Well, what I might do is I might bring this guy... Well, I'll wait for the break. And uh, I'll try to figure out a, a tile that we're working that isn't improved. And uh, that way we make this as efficient as possible. I'm leaning towards a naval invasion of Rome on that separate landmass. I think that would be pretty fun. And uh, exciting to have colonies on a whole separate land formation. But... I don't know what's going to happen in my own continent. Again, Vicky kind of scares me, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.